Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading. What does the Divine Feminine want to tell the Divine Masculine? So I've already gone ahead and selected the cards for you to be interpreted. Here are all the cards. There's quite a few to get through. So the Feminine has a lot to say. Um, but before I start, thank you so much to those of you who have supported me, my channel and my work. I just feel so blessed to be doing this for you. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet click on it now and um, like and share my videos but if you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com all the details are in the description box below I feel called on to spray some of my spray here this is beautiful this is a clearing spray um, $20 a bottle great alternative than burning sage if you want some yep send me an email get in contact with me all right so the first uh, how many we got three cards are from the moonology oracle card deck and the first card is your commitment is being tested so what I'm picking up here firstly is that the divine feminine is feeling tested in regards to this commitment so some of the divine feminines have had to pull away um, they're feeling a little overwhelmed by their emotions here uh, the moon in this card is black and white so there is a change they're feeling like there is a change that they need to make and it is within them okay so some of the divine feminines have been picking up on the masculine's um, energy here they've been feeling a little clouded um, some of the divine feminines um, have even judged themselves and they're feeling like they're being tested you know their self-worth um, you know their um, genuine genuinity I can't even say that word um, you know that they're they're a genuine person um, but I'm picking up definitely that some of the divine feminines are feeling overwhelmed with this connection so they've had to take a step back because they don't want to be tested they don't want to feel this way um, and they don't want to be judged or compared to you know other females or or the karmic let's just see what else yeah confidence is your key to success so the divine feminine has pulled away to build up her confidence here um and she knows that she needs to do this on her own she doesn't need um you know this from her divine masculine to lift her up because she can lift herself up she's powerful she's confident this is a new moon card so this is a new start it is a leo energy um which we're in leo season now so happy birthday leos um but this is a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius could be the divine feminine here but when i see the lion for me it represents courage and strength and that's what the divine feminine is doing so even though she's felt tested like she's been tested in the past, she's building up her courage and strength to, you know, find that confidence within her again. And um, because she knows that it's her confidence that exudes and it's, you know, her love that exudes to it. And, and it is attractive to the divine masculine. So it's about coming out of the dark and back into that light. Okay, let's see what the next card is from the Moonology. Yeah, we've got more fiery energy here. Full moon in Aries okay again could be Aries Leo or Sag so they're saying here a fiery climax approaches so um, this can be the divine feminine picking up on the masculine's energy it could be anger it could be resentment you know heavy energy here whatever the masculine is going through the divine feminine is feeling so if it's the divine masculine who's been feeling tested well the divine feminine's feeling that way too you guys do mirror each other okay but I feel that there may um, be some heated discussion here um, between the feminine and masculine or there's um, something that the divine feminine wants to express and it comes from love and passion because fire is also about passion okay which is what the divine feminine you know exudes she exudes that beautiful passion um, and that love and that fire you know within her and um, yeah there is a ram in this card which is that Aries energy so that's also you know perhaps the divine feminine is feeling like she's you know butting her head against the wall trying to get through to her mas masculine who's not accessible at the moment because you guys are in separation so she's finding it difficult um, to I guess express 
how she feels because there is no communication. But she's finding her way. She's building her confidence here. The Divine Feminine is um, focusing on her power because that's the color of the solar plexus. So getting her power back. Yellow is all about power strength. And the orange in this card is also about and this card too is also about um, your gut, the sacral. So the Divine Feminine is very, very intuitive here. She's trusting her gut in this situation and she is focusing on her, um, yeah, on her own needs, which I'm picking up with this Commitment card too. And the Divine Feminine is also, I just heard, she wants a commitment. She wants to commit to her Divine Masculine, but she wants her Divine Masculine to commit towards her, to her. Okay, the next two cards are from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. The first one is a helpful person. So the Divine Feminine is seeking on help from others to, I guess, help her um, either build her confidence um, or just help her in other ways with this you know, twin flame connection. Perhaps she's seeking some advice. Um, perhaps she's calling on her friends to you know, support her during this challenging time. Um, but the Divine Feminine is... As you can see there, paying attention to the signs. She knows that when she notices the signs, now this could be songs, numbers, feathers, animals, rainbows, um, something very symbolic to her and her masculine and the connection. Could even be a particular car, guys. Um, the Divine Feminine knows that when she notices these signs that she increases the flow of this connection, okay? And it's bringing her closer. It, it's also telling her that um, her Divine Masculine is thinking about her, but she's also sending these signs to her Divine Masculine. So DMs out there, um, pay attention to the signs that your Divine Feminine's giving you. Some of the Divine Feminines are working on changing their diet, improving their health. They're focusing on their body, their well-being here. They're focusing on their mind, their spiritual body as well. So they're really, um, yeah, look at this. I just keep hearing confidence. They're really rebuilding their confidence here. And this also involves making a change in their diet, whether that is toning, losing weight, um, however it applies. But I feel that the Divine Feminine is also um, getting rid of toxic behavior, the fearful based thoughts here. Um, and she's focusing on things that improve her health and improve this connection too because she wants to have a healthy lifestyle. She wants this connection and this relationship to be healthy. Now, what are the next cards? Angel therapy. Yeah, some of the divine feminines are working with Archangel Michael. You would have heard me speak about him a lot. Archangel Michael helps to cut any cords here that are attached to the divine feminine. He's helping to protect the divine feminine as well as um, this connection that she shares with her Divine Masculine. Um, so Archangel Michael is exuding that beautiful purple and blue light around the Divine Feminine and this connection. So just know that, yeah, your Divine Feminine is working with Michael. And some of you Masculines, I think, are definitely working with Michael too. And we've got another card here, which is saying vacuum away fear. So the Divine Feminine is definitely working on clearing away fearful based thoughts, um, fears, anxiety, um, you know, anxiety, which is fear-based as well. So she's working on clearing this in order to welcome the new because she doesn't want to be bogged down. She doesn't want to feel overwhelmed by her emotions, especially in regards to this connection. She's also saying, I'm moving away from fear because I'm not scared of this connection. I'm actually building my confidence and I know and I have the power within myself to change my you know, perception on fear and fearful based thoughts because I want to experience this passion with you, Divine Masculine. So Archangel Michael is helping me to protect me and also to clear me. All right, the next two cards are from the, what are they called? The Archangel Oracle. And the first one is Solace and it's called Bodies of Water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river or the ocean to recharge your batteries. So yes, the Divine Feminines are connecting with nature. Some of the Divine Feminines love the water more than um, the forest, perhaps, the beach. But I am picking up definitely uh, waterfalls here for some. So some of you may connect with waterfalls. This could also be a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who connects with water especially. So water is also um, a symbolic of your emotions. 
okay so the divine feminine is working through all these emotions that she's some of the divine feminines have really been experiencing some fiery energy here just like that leo you know and the aries fiery anger could be resentment and they're working through this they know that they can't stay stuck in any of these emotions they need to always come back to love um what's the next card mother mary yeah a lot of the divine feminines connect with mother mary whether they're mothers or not um they pray to mother mary as well mother mary in this card is holding a baby and this card is called expect a miracle so um the divine feminine believes in miracles wholeheartedly here she sees this well the way I see the baby is as a new beginning and the divine feminine craves and wants this new beginning with her divine masculine. So she believes in miracles. She's maintaining her faith. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of the divine feminines are connecting with Mother Mary. They're praying to Mother Mary to bring forward, um, you know, her divine masculine. Okay, guys, the last three cards are from... The Romance Angels, let your friends help you. Yeah, as I mentioned before, your Divine Feminine, and I'll find the card, is calling on help from friends. You got that helpful person. Could definitely be more than one here. So she's allowing friends to comfort her during this time where it may be difficult for the Divine Feminine to get through, you know, this challenging period of separation that she's experiencing with her divine masculine. So she's allowing her friends to comfort her and soothe her and listen to her because a lot of the divine feminines are unable to communicate what they're going through or their feelings to their divine masculine. The divine feminine sees the divine masculine as their twin flame. Okay, this is a soul connection. It's deep and the divine feminine wants to deepen this bond with her divine masculine. So she does see you as her twin flame. The last card is let go of control issues. Yeah, so as I initially started this reading, uh, what was that first card? Let me find it. Yep, your commitment's being tested. Commitment has been tested perhaps because the divine feminine has been controlling this commitment. Okay, she's been trying to control um, her divine masculine, perhaps. Um, she's been trying to control or force things to happen. You know, she's been pushing too hard and she knows she can't push against resistance. She's really going to, you know, take the other path, the non-resistant path, and she has to go with the flow here. So this is something that she's also acknowledged and um, she doesn't want to control you, Divine Masculine. She doesn't want to control this connection. She knows that um, you guys will come back together, okay? Um, and she wants everything to, well, this situation to unfold naturally. She's put her faith and trust in the universe to deliver this to her. Okay, so the dice. I have the dice here. Let's see. What's the number, angels? <laughs> I love this. You got? Two, two. Look at that. They're twins. Yay. Okay. This can also represent that both the divine masculine and the divine feminines are in a karmic relationship at the moment. So they're both experiencing the same kind of emotions and uh, turmoil in the karmic, but they're, you can see the twos, they're not close. So they want to move away because the divine feminine and masculine are down here. They want to be near each other. They want to be close. Okay, so the number 22 can be symbolic, can be um, also the day of a month, 22, but 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, 4 is the month of April. That's the Aries, isn't it? I believe it's fire sign, which is that Aries card, um, and I'll find it for you. Yep, the fiery climax, that one there, Aries. So it definitely can represent, um, you know, the month of April, Aries, um, and also could be a fourth day of a month, just take it how it applies. But that is your Twin Flame reading, the DF to the DM, and I'll be back with a DM to the DF. But if you are after your own personal reading or a Twin Flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. Thank you so much to all of you for your love and for your support. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and do so and click on that subscribe button and like and share my videos. But many angel blessings to you all. Thanks, guys.